South Africans continuing to mourn the passing of the former minister and Reserve Bank Governor Tito Mboweni passing away at the age of 65. His last public engagement was an address at the University of Limpopo. Mboweni never completed his studies there back in the day due to activism. But Limpopo and Zanin, those areas especially, very close to the heart of Tito Mboweni and his family. Maloko Maloto, and uh, joining us to talk about this, and hello to you, Maloko. I hope you're able to uh, hear me this afternoon. Why is Zanin so special uh, to Tito Mboweni? He went up there as often as he could. I think it's where he grew up, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely, Gareth Edwards. That is where Tito Mboweni was born in 1959. Of course, he was born in uh, Bordeaux village, which is about uh, 30 or 35 kilometers outside uh, the town, tropical town of uh, Zanena, must uh, point out. And, of course, he then grew up after his family moved to another village called uh, Sasekani. That is where his home is at now. And we know that uh, even when he was minister of finance, you would recall that even during... Uh, the time of uh, COVID-19, some of the meetings would be held at his farm in uh, Makhoba Sloof. That is where he spent most of uh, his time when he was uh, this side. Even after he retired from active politics, he went that, to that particular farm. And indeed, he was considered as uh, one of uh, the people who were promoting this northernmost province, particularly when it comes to the tourism economy. And we are here at the University of Limpopo, of course, now to trace his academic career. Uh, he obviously started schooling at a primary school.